This is the CPC-5 ECU, one of the key control units used in modern heavy-duty vehicles. In today's video, we'll walk through a full bench setup using AutoVay tools, showing how to connect, power, and prepare this module for diagnostics, flashing, cloning, or parameter adjustments. Next, we have the Vey V8, our main interface in the heart of the Truck Explorer system. This device enables fast, stable communication with ECU on bench or via OBD. It supports reading, writing, cloning, pairing, unpairing, and advanced diagnostic features across a wide range of vehicle brands. You will see it later in the full setup, working together with all the cables and power connections. Here is the DC2U tool, an essential part of the bench connection chain. It serves as the communication bridge between the bench cable and the VAE device, ensuring safe and reliable access to the ECU. With DC2U, you get stable data transfer and proper voltage routing for ECU operations. This is the OBD2 power cable, responsible for delivering power through the OBD2 line during bench work. It provides a clean and stable power source to the VAE device and the ECU through our power supply setup. And here is the CPC-5 bench cable, designed specifically for CPC-5 ECU. This cable ensures correct pinout alignment, safe connection, and reliable communication with the ECU during operations. All connector points are reinforced with special clippers, providing a stable and secure grip so the cable will not loosen or disconnect in the middle of your work. You'll see how we connect it step by step in just a moment. Finally, we have the 24 volt power supply block, used to power the full bench setup. It provides stable voltage required for truck ECU to operate correctly outside the vehicle. Now, let's walk through the complete connection process. First, we take the DC2U tool and connect it to the CPC5 bench cable. Next, we attach the CPC5 bench cable to the CPC5 ECU, ensuring every pin is properly aligned and seated. Then, we take the OBD2 power cable and connect it directly to the DC2U tool. The same OBD2 power cable is then connected to the 24 volt power supply block. After that, we prepare the VEA V8. We connect it to a standard USB A to B cable. This cable will be used to connect the VEA device to the PC. Once connected, we plug the USB AB cable into the computer. 
Next, we connect the VE V8 to the OBD2 power cable. At this stage, all devices are physically linked, so we can power the system. We turn on the 24 volt power supply block, activating the full bench setup. And now, here's the full bench setup in one wide shot. The power supply feeding the CPC5 ECU, the DC2 U tool managing communication, the OBD2 power cable supplying power, and the VEV8 device finalizing the connection. Everything is linked and running as one unified system. We now transition to the software, Dirt Truck Explorer V8.2, where you can see how the ECU is recognized and we will perform full CPC5 read slash write slash cloning operation tutorial.